Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and run React in Visual Studio Code. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Norbert and I teach web development on this channel. So if you're interested, then please consider subscribing to it. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And with this being said, let me remove my face and show you how to install and run React on Visual Studio Code. Now, first things first, when you open Visual Studio Code, you will be greeted with this. It's just an empty UI. Now you can either open a folder, an existing folder where you wish to create your, your project. So you have your folder for it. Please create a folder for projects. Don't just create them on the desktop. But I will create my on the desktop because this is the quickest way I can show you this. So you can either open a new folder for wherever you, you're saving all your projects or just create a new folder. I'm just going to call it React. What are you doing? React. And I'm basically going to drag and drop it in here. Okay, let me make this, put it here. Now, you do need the terminal in order to install or the command prompt in order to install React. Also, you do need npm and Node.js installed in order to install and run React. If you don't have them installed, I have a video in the description below showing you how to install npm and node.js it's a pretty quick video so please pause the video right here if you don't have them installed go ahead install them and come back to the video now if you do have them installed then you need to open up the terminal or the command prompt now you can do this by going up and clicking on terminal new terminal you can just use the shortcut key which in most case in this case because this is on a mac it's control tilde or on a pc it's command tilde so basically you pass, you hold down command or control and then tilde and this should open up the terminal. Now, when you have your terminal opened, you're basically working either in Z shell, which is the default option for Mac or in the CMD, which is the command prompt for Windows. And basically you can up multiple terminals and so forth and so on by clicking here on the, this plus button. Now let's close them up. And from here is where you will install and as well almost run react in order to install react we need the command npx then space then the command create hyphen react hyphen then space and now you have two possibilities if you already worked in visual studio code you know that you always need a folder where you can work in in the moment we are in our react folder that we created you can see up here on the left react now from here you have two possibilities please don't press enter don't do anything if you press dot this means that the react app that you're going to create will be created within this folder if you want to give it another name or basically create another folder then you could you do here for example my actually this will not work in my app. You can only use hyphen and lowercase letters in order to create React apps or to name them. So if I type in my app, this will create a new folder. And within this folder, React is going to create or install everything that React needs in order to run. Now, if I press enter, it will start the installation. Now, remember, depending on your internet connection and your PC power, this could take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes so i'm going to pause the video here i'm going to press enter now this will start the installation you can see user no uh users no but this is just telling me the path where the react app is going to be created and you can always see it created a new folder now if i click on this folder you will start seeing here multiple folders and files being created actually i'm going to speed up the video a bit here all right, we're done. We have React installed and created a app. Now we installed React locally in this folder in this application. In order to run React, we just need the command npm start. But above here, you see another command cd, which means cd stands for change directory. And my app is your app that you just created. And if I now try to run React and just type in npm start, this will give me a error because we are come, we are currently in the React folder. We are here. 
and we need to go down in my app. So basically we can use CD change directory. We are telling the node engine from where it should take its resources and run a specific script that I'm going to show you, which is going to start our react application. So CD change directory space, my hyphen app, press enter. And you can see down here that Norbert BM, Menhart BM, whatever, it's just a username is now in my app. So node is now looking at this folder. From here, we can now type in npm space start, hit enter. And now depending on what your default browser is, and because I already have another React application open, it will open it in that browser and on a specific port. I'm just going to type in here, yes. So this is also interesting for you. So yes, uh, this happened, npm start and yes, why? Which I'm just going to drag it here, just launched our very first React application. And you know what? I'm going to make this smaller and also make my Visual Studio Code editor smaller and just put it right here, right here, and there we go. So this is your very first React application. You see here the React logo. Actually, I should still position it a bit better. Now, in order to stop, in order to stop the application, you will go down in your terminal and either control or command. On PC, you will have command, and on a Mac, you would have control, and hold down control or command, and then press C, and you will see that the application just stopped. Basically, if I would refresh here, the page is no longer being served. React has a built-in server. And now I can show you actually, if you go down here in this file, package.json, at the script level, you will see the starting script. So basically, if I type in npm and then this keyword start, this will start React. Then if you want to build out your application, you can then npm build, then test or eject, which will just send you out of your application. But in our case, we stop the server by using the, M with the control C command. Now, if you wish to start the server again, then again, we're going to type in npm, you can see here, start. So start, which just means npm node package manager is going to manage this package and it's going to launch this script and press enter and we're going to wait a couple of seconds. And yes, run it on the port. You will most obviously not see that. And there we go, our React app is running again. Now let me just show you something. Um, all your files, let me close off this package, it's JSON. All your files and folders will be in the source file. Your build, if we would run npm build, then this is what you will deploy later on. You can see within here is that HTML file that you all know and love. And this is where everything is going to be pushed in. Now we're going to leave this build file and we're going to go into the source file. Within the source file, you'll see a couple of things which you don't know. You will see a couple of things that you need and you also don't need, but we're not going to go into detail. What I'm going to show you is here, this app.js. This app.js is where everything, uh, all the magic almost happens. And let me just show you something. Let's say I want to create underneath this React app, which is this logo right here. In our header, let's create here a H1. Also, let me just change this to React, the H1, the title of my app. And if I hit save, you will see down here my app. Let me also, my Norbert app. We kinky. Okay, basically, this is how you can modify your React application. The last thing that I wanted to show you is this right here, this node module. This folder is packed full with all of the node modules. When you want to move your application, you want to push it to GitHub or whatever. You'll see here in the Git ignore that node modules are ignored. So if something should happen to your application, or if you want to move your application, this folder right here, let me also show you this. So this folder, if I click on get more information, I hope you can see this is pretty small, uh, but it has 306 mega. This means that takes up a lot of space on a disk. And if I go into this folder, my app and click on node modules and click on inspect again, you'll see again that this folder is actually taking up the most, the most space on the disk. So this logically means you will not take this folder with you. So you can just delete this folder. Boom, it's gone. 
Now your application will crash because it needs the node modules. No problem. You can reinstall all of your node modules. Let me just drag this here again. You see we're missing the node modules. Now we need to stop the server, command C. You are in our uh, Z shell again or in CMD. And from here we just type in npm install, hit enter and take a look up here. It, quickly show, it will quickly show you that all of, you can see right here, the node package ma uh, modules are being reinstalled. So if you ever delete this, or if you take an application, download it from GitHub, it, and it does not work, mostly is because it's missing the node module because nobody uploads node modules because it take up a lot of space. Okay, and you can already see our application is working again. Okay, everyone, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions, any kind of questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm Norbert BM and I teach web development. And with this being said, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. So with this being said, catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye, everyone.